Oh, who did this? <sighs> the dame's scream hit an octave usually reserved for calling dogs, but it meant I had a case. And the sound of green bags slapping across my palm is music to my ears any day. After all, I'm not an opera critic. I'm a private eye. I keep two magnums in my desk. One's a gun and I keep it loaded. I'm Tracer Bullet. I'm a professional snoop. It's a tough job, but then I'm a tough guy. Some people don't like an audience when they work. Enough of them have told me so with blunt instruments that I'm a phrenologist's dream come true. Snooping pays the bills though, especially Bill, my bookie, and Bill, my probation officer. So when a tall brunette opened my door with a case for me, my heart did a few calisthenics and I took the job. The dame said she had a case. She sounded like a case herself, but I can't choose my clients. She was the pushy type, the kind who would break your heart or maybe your arms. I hurried over. Either she had a psychotic decorator or her place had been ransacked by someone in a big hurry. The dame was hysterical. Dames usually are. The click of a hammer being cocked behind my head focused my thoughts like only a loaded 38 can. The dame had set me up. She didn't want me to solve the case at all. She just wanted a pansy to pin the crime on. Well? I didn't like the way this story was shaping up, so I decided to write a new ending with my 45 automatic as a co-author. I introduced the dame to my friend who's very close to my heart just a little down and left to be specific. My friend is an eloquent speaker. He made three profound arguments while I excused myself from the room. I always leave when the talk gets philosophical. You're in real trouble now, young man. I just finished putting the puzzle pieces together when the dame's hired goon jumped out of nowhere and practiced for his chiropractic degree. When he was done, an all-percussion symphony was playing in my head, and the acoustics were incredible. The orchestra went on a ten-city tour of my brain, and I had a season pass with front row seats. I'd figured out who trashed the dame's living room, but since she wasn't my client anymore, I felt no need to divulge the information. Besides, the culprit happened to be a buddy of mine. I closed the case. <laughs>